Good morning, sisters. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. And our mass intention this morning in thanksgiving for the graces received through the intercession of Our Lady, for the need of Holy Mother Church and the suffering world, for Lily Kutsia, Wesley Asbury, Kurt and all those recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the soul of Sister Catherine of Christ, and for our deceased relatives, friend and benefactors, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And then we also pray in this Eucharist, Father Larry Kaufman and Father Michael Fish celebrate today the golden jubilee of their religious profession, which has been celebrated this morning in Mottle Bay with the community there. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Friends, we come with renewed hope and trust before the risen Lord, that his mercy and compassion may give us courage. Lord, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all consolation. Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up, and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it was multiplied. Now, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived in Lida. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose, and all the residents of Lida and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was at Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas or Gazelle. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she fell sick and died, and when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, entreating him. Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them. And when he had come, they took him to the upper room. All the widows stood beside him weeping and showing coats and garments with Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, 
Tabitha rise, and she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive, and it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How can I repay the Lord for all His goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for all His goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for all His goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for His, his goodness to me? My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? Your servant, Lord, your servant am I, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? Alleluia. Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, according to you, O Lord. At that time, many of the disciples of Jesus said, This is a hard saying, who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at it, said to them, do you take offense at this? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you that do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who those were that did not believe and who it was that would betray him. And he said, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples drew back and no longer walked with him. Jesus said to the twelve, Will you also go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. It's doubtful, dear friends, that Paul Simon, the songwriter, was thinking of St. Catherine of Siena, whose feasts are celebrated throughout Europe and other parts of the world, when he wrote the song, Bridge Over Troubled Waters. But in fact, this is the key of the image of St. Catherine's work, the dialogue of divine providence in medieval Italy. Bridges were often more like streets with houses and shops on them. You can still see such bridges, for example, in Florence and Venice. For St. Catherine, the Bridge of Christ, which carries us over the roaring waters of our sinful nature 
was a place we could spend our lives on. And in our Gospel of St. John, a crucial moment comes when many of his disciples turn away. They cannot accept his words on the need to share in his body and blood. Yet they are still looking for salvation. Whether or not those who seek God with a sincere heart can be saved without believing specifically in Jesus is an open question in this life. And yet Christ teaches that he is the way, the path to the Father. And that cannot be changed because we are each called into the life of his Father. On Good Friday, when the church comes together and it prays for all people and explicitly mentioning those who do not believe in Christ or in God. And in doing so, the church, the living body, we are praying that whether they know it or not, Jesus of Nazareth may be their bridge to happiness. So we pray in our Eucharistic celebration today that we may be willing to cross over this bridge of salvation. We pray that we may have the courage to once again entrust our lives and our desires that the risen Lord may meet us where we are. And as we do this, my dear friend, those whom we meet and who we accompany in our daily lives, may the reflection of the risen Jesus be present with the church, with the world. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hand, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all 
Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one through God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just how duty and our salvation had all time to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our past over has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be go ahead to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Through the word of our risen Savior, we are able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. That we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. If we walk in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia.
Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine of Siena through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of our need. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And be thou O Prince of the heavenly host. By the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls.